Hey people and welcome back to yet another new episode of season 5. So some of you noticed the episodes have been getting longer because as I said I would be getting fast internet eventually and I have got fast internet. And remember everything's in the description to follow me on as well such as my Facebook page, my Twitter and Twitch TV and there's also a Reddit which I've never ever used because I don't know. I don't really know. But anyway, as you may notice out this window, I started another new iron tank there. So I want to finish that off right now. So we're going to need to make some... You need to make some valves. Only one lot. And some gorge. And some also finish off the tank walls. So this... Hey, I don't want to put rail track down. And get in my inventory. Let's see. We've got 27 iron plates. So... Try and finish off the walls, I guess. We should have enough. So, have we got any gauges left? We've got two of them. Ah, oh, some more iron tank walls. Two of these. Ah, oh, we've got loads of plates. Damn it. Oh well. You can never have too many, I guess. And that annoys me. That can get out of there. I keep forgetting to remove these to this. There we go. Okay. So how do we make these gauges? We need glass panes. Yes, a pain in the ass. Any more glass? Glass. There we go. There's some glass. Is there some more iron? Ah, oh, more iron plates. Bloody hell, I've got loads. So let's make some normal glass panes, I guess. And there we go, and we need to make these. Hopefully we have enough. I can't remember how many we need to make of these for a tank. That size. Let's try to start with this. Mm, will 18 be enough? No, 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 nowhere near enough. Okay, continue this. And and again. Ah, oh, we're short. Well, let's go and put. We need to make some uh, one lot of valves as well. We've got any? We don't have any iron iron fence things. Got any levers? No. Have to make some levers as well. Give me some sticks and some cobble for that. Okay. And we need these iron fences. And it was bars in the corner, plates in the inside, okay. And a lever in the middle. There we go. We got some of those. Alright, let's see if we can finish this off now. Hopefully, we can finish this tank off. There we go. Come on, be enough. Be enough. Well, we've got enough of those, that's for sure. Now, the valves. The valves are going to go right at the bottom. Here and here. Uh, do we actually need any more? Do we need some outputs? Let's just put one at the front. Just for the hell of it. Fill the rest with... Ga gouges, gauges, whatever they're called. We definitely don't have enough of these, I'm pretty sure. And why is there a duck or whatever inside. A rabbit. Stupid rabbit. No. Disallowed. So it looks like we need 9 plus 3, 12 more. 12 more gauges. Gouges. Whatever it's called. Let's make some more glass panels. Get these made. How many does I say need? 12? So we get, so we need three more lots. I 
Now we should be done. Okay. So this tank's going to be complete. This is our creosol creoso oil tank, by the way. That's what it's for. And then uh, just the roof to go. And yeah, there we go. Awesome. So now what we need, what we need to do is put the liquid unloaders on these bits, and that will put everything in there. So we've got our trains. They're going the right way. The boarding rails. Of course, remember last time we actually got loads of track for this. We're going to actually need a piece of cobble there and there. Our other boarding rails need to go on top here. And the rest, well... we we'll probably need a speed up rail, whatever they're called in the middle there. Especially on this one. This one is going to go at an angle. Okay. So we just need the boarding rails on top here. We need the unloaders and loaders and we need our tank carts. So let's go and do that. And there's actually rail railcraft that actually focuses more on steam power now as well. But I haven't really looked onto how to do the steam power yet. We've only just scratching the surface here at the Korea so oil stage. So we can actually put the... How do we make the detector rails? I mean, not detector rails, speedy rails. Track. Booster track. So once again we need loads of wooden half slabs for this. Where are my wooden half slabs? Don't actually have many. Hmm. Just build some more. That should do for now, hopefully. And let's get rid of some of this crap. We don't need any of these. Don't need that. Don't actually need normal rail. Okay, we don't actually need the glass either. So let's go and get some creosote oil from with our buckets and let's start making the the track, the pieces of the track to make the better track. Okay, creosote oil time. Woohoo, four buckets. What? Why is there only one bucket? Oh, what? That makes no sense. This coal is burning really slow. Still got 2k left in there. How much we got in here? 6k, okay. Still got plenty more buckets to go. So let's go make... We only need two booster rails, maybe three. Let's just make all this. Wait. Oh no, it's blind bar. Wooden tie. These are bloody expensive. Stupid wooden tires. Just to make one wooden rail bed. And then I need advanced rail. Ah, oh, Pretty sure I had advanced rail. Advanced rail, redstone. What else did I need? Advanced rail and redstone, okay. First booster track. We're going to get one working before the other anyway. Booster track. Oh, we get eight. That's... <laughs> I forget sometimes the recipe makes multiple. Look, it says eight. I should really pay attention. And that looks done there. Hey. Give me that. Got plenty of iron plates ready for another tank if we ever make one. Okay. Advanced rails. We don't need those. Red stone. Let's need some redstone. We need to make two, a couple of redstone torches to make the boost rails work. Okay. So hopefully this will work. So if I put the booster truck in the middle here, 
and in the middle here, things should work. Let's try this out. Aha, we haven't made the other two boarding rails yet. Let's get the tanks as well, the liquid loader un and unloader. And hopefully this will all work. Hopefully. So we've got those, we've got those. Need two of those, we might need the crowbar. This should actually work with the... One of the tracks will work with what I've got. I've still got to make the other liquid loader and unloader yet. So, liquid loader goes on here, and then that goes there. You see this filling up, and over here, the liquid unloader. So we need to, it's a hold empty, I'm not sure what this, oh, it goes, it goes, it goes, oh yeah, we haven't put the rail in. No, what a noob. And we need to make that. See if this works. It should. Should be working. You unloading? Oh no, the the thingy's got to be one up from this. Ah, oh, what a plonker. Okay. Try this again. It would can work. It's gonna work. Right, that there. That there. And. And. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Liquid unloader. Come on. Empty. So this not work. What? Come on. I'm not sure about all these. Come on, empty it. Oh man, it's not working. That sucks. And this goat can pay off trying to eat all the stuff around her. Right, let's just put the other board and rail one anyway. That needs to go that way. Yeah, they are facing the right way, aren't they? So maybe if I can make this car move. Leave. Go this way. Move. Ah. Uh. This is on the boarding rail. Why isn't the unloader unloading? Uh, do I need double loaders? I'm supposed to unload the liquid. Empty. Do I put buckets in there? Buckets. Empty. Empty. I'm not sure how these work, to be honest. Well, I thought it was going to work, but obviously not. As usual, I can never get... Well, at least it loads. Yeah. Hold empty, top off. Hmm. Well, <laughs> it sort of works. It sort of doesn't work, though. Well, at least we've got our first steps into Railcraft. It doesn't work properly, but... In fact, we didn't even need it. If if we left the trains going down to the bottom there, it would have worked. But I'm going to be right back and figure out how to use these liquid unloaders and then put them into the tank. So I'll be right back a sec and hopefully we can get this working. And I'm back, so I got it working. Apparently you need the unloader to go under the track for some reason. But oh well. So basically when this fills up, anything now it will pump this in there you can see we've got a bit of this oil in there 2.5k bit of creosote oil of course for those that didn't know 1k is one bucket's worth so that's two and a half buckets or just two because you can't have half a bucket so once this gets some more creosote oil in it will start filling up so basically we need another the other 
liquid loader and unloader. So I've got how to make these liquid loader, dispenser, and detector. Okay, let's go and make another liquid loader and unloader. People actually keep telling me, yeah, I shouldn't even use solar panel power. Maybe I'll do some geothermal. I could use another similar tank system to cart loads of lava from the nether and use geothermal power as well as an, another power source for industrial craft. That could work, and that's something that we could work on at another date. So what I need now is a dispenser. So we're going to need to make some bows. Yes. This Kind of odd having to make bows all the time. And there we go, two bows. I've already got the redstone for that. For that uh, dispenser, whatever it's called. What else do we need for dispensers? Just cobble. Do we have any cobble? It's all downstairs now, isn't it? Uh, oh, I actually have a little bit. Ooh, I forgot about that. Spare cobble, no. Let's go downstairs and get a stack. Okay, we've got loads down there. Cobble! And we're going to take a stack, there we go. So we've got a stack of cobble for the detector tank. We need bricks, we've got some of that. Let's just take another stack of cobble and turn this into normal stone. Unless we've got some stone. So we're going to need the old pressure pad for the detector thing. Have we got any normal stone? We have... We do have a pressure pallet though. Two stone anywhere? No? Okay. In here? No? Okay. Two stone it is. Okay, so it was like this, I believe, with a pressure plate, yup, and this is how you make dispensers, need two of those. Before yesterday's recording, I had no... I've never made a dispenser before. Now I'm making them all the time, it seems. So we just need one more of these. So we need that pressure plate. Get that done. Soon we will have red power as well. Whenever that gets released. And things will be different. So unloader. Uh, it's just glass, isn't it, we need? Glass. And there we go. That's our unloader. And that's our loader. There we go. Cool. So we can actually finish this off now. Where's our other tank cart gone? Do we lose our tank cart? One of them. I think we lost one of them. Ah, oh, it's filling up! It's unloading! Yeah! We got to see some liquid go through. Awesome. So where's my other tank got? Did I put it in the filter on one of these? I think it might be under here. When I was dealing with this. No? Okay. Well, I guess we lost that then. Shut up, turkeys. So we need to go and make another tank cart. Which should be a cart and a tank. I'm not sure. Tank cards. And the tank card is an. Oh, one of these in a mine cart. Okay. We actually have to use iron to make a cart this time. So we didn't have to last time. We actually had two cards. So one of these. And put that back. And do we have one? Oh, we made exactly enough of the them before, didn't we? So we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make 
more. There's glass. Have we got any more? Yeah, we, we need five of these. Four of these. Okay. Stop messing up. There we go. And our tank can't show be complete. Yes. Let's get rid of some of this crap we got. We don't need all this. Guess we'll take leave some cobble and some dirt up here for now. Ah, uh, do what I did last time, just stick everything in there. That we don't need. But we do need that. We do need that. Oh, I didn't know this had a durability bar. And we need those. Okay, this should work now. And our cart system shall be complete. Oh, it's filling up again. Yeah, we're, we have good timing today. So we actually need to remove... Unloader goes underneath. Piping out the back. Rail on top. Let's crowbar it the right way. And we need to put the liquid loader in as well. Cool, cool. And what settings this on? Hey! You ruined my car! My car stopped because of you. Ugh. Get in there. There we go. Ruining my car system. Maybe I need to put some light. Is this on hold empty? This is not on anything. Okay. And I'm back. My game crashed if you didn't notice. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh that lovely greeny browny liquid. Looks like diarrhea, but it's not. It's going to help us make a lot of train track. I don't care if there's a new version available. I downloaded a version. And I'm back again because the game crashed. So this is now working. Yeah. So I got cut off mid-sentence. Hopefully we don't crash again. There's something about some entity is ruining this. And as I was saying, I don't care if there's a new version. I'm not downloading it again. Hey. Hey. You've ruined my... I'm going to kill my cart now. God damn it. Hopefully it didn't have too much in it. How much brownie greeny liquid we got? Ooh, almost 12 buckets worth. 12, actually 12 buckets worth. So these will keep going until they're un in interrupted by an entity. So I figured we should put some railing along the side or some fencing. And we made the metal posts. So I'm just going to use the metal posts. The metal posts are supposed to be for the bridge and now the like brown metal posts I can't be bothered to color them for for the train track but this is kind of needed to stop things going on the track like that bloody rabbit get out of here you're not coming in you're not coming in Okay. Ah. We need to put that redstone bit in. Go, go, go! Go. Go, my carts. I guess I should put mail posts on the inside as well, but if anything gets in there, they're nub. Really nub. Right, we put that there. That do. It's kind of fenced off now. And it shows off these crappy metal fence posts. But you can actually colour these any colour dye. Any colour you want. I was thinking white. White picket fence, you know. Awesome. So at least we've finished this now. It's working. We can get our oil. And we can actually make track. Which brings us to the miscraft system that we were originally going to do. Now where is all my food? I don't know. I'll probably put it in the chest. So this is the item unloader. Okay. 
I'm not quite sure how this works yet, but I will figure it out like I figured everything out eventually. I kind of like this. I'm glad it's working. I could hold till empty. Hold. I could hold it there, I guess, until it's full so they're not running all the time. Hold them there until they fill up. These are going to take ages to fill up, especially considering the amount of time it takes for coal to burn in here. This could take a while, but it will work. I mean, I could have just used a build grub pipe straight from the oven, but you got to use the mods. I, I always like learning about new mods, and if I can use these new mods, then it's awesome. So we're done with that. Maybe I'm going to go and get a turtle now. Because I kind of want Donatello and Raphael and Michelangelo. And I need food before I do anything. Let's just stick this in here. Aha, there's my food. I knew it. So we need some sugar cane. Let's go and get a new turtle for the zoo. So we've already got Leonardo. And it kind of breaks up up the this golem always keeps respawning i've killed it three times oh really you destroyed half this is why i didn't want a golem bloody hell it's ruined my certificate house see that's why i don't want a golem if they attack a bloody ogre that or a creeper things like that can happen oh well, guess we have to live with it for now so there were some turtles down here before. I only thought they spawned in swamps, but I've seen them down here. When I went to go and get clay. And there's loads of scorpions over there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Who wants to join the parley? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, Donatello! Donatello! Hello? Donatello. You come with me, my friend. Donatello, time to go to the zoo. Where's my portal gun? Damn it, so I left it at home. Donatello, you're coming to the zoo. And then we're coming back for Raphael. And you, I would attack you, but I know it's going to kill my turtle. Yes, we need to get rid of that path and adjust it to the correct place. I did actually destroy all the certificate housing now. The, there's nothing remains of the normal village. We kind of defeats the point of even being in a village in the first place. But, oh well. The old certificate land is gone. Oh, what's going on here? Here we go. New friend for Leonardo if he's still alive. Is he still alive? Where's Leonardo? Oh man. I thought these things don't respawn despawn. This is Four turtles are not supposed to despawn, especially if you've tamed them. What's up with that? Like you don't see my horses despawning. You still see Aslan here. So we're gonna have to go and get Leonardo again. He was here like when I went to look. After the last time I filmed, so I don't know where he's gone. I didn't take him out. That is kind of BS, if you ask me. Leonardo 2 is coming. He's still going to be called Leonardo, but he'd be Leonardo 2. Oh no, it's a mini testificate. Mini professor. Uh, where are you going? Look at that speed on his legs. Oh yeah. Mini testificates. And this is where the metal post railings were going to go. Right, Leonardo too, who was going to be called Raphael. Are you over here still? Are you here? Well, you didn't eat your food, so I guess not. I, I want them turtles. The river's kind of like really odd here. It's like non-existent or very slim. Is that a turtle? It is! Leonardo too. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's see. There we go. Leonardo. Without an S at the start. 
Leonardo. Done. Yes. You're back. Good. You were just going to be called Raphael, but... Your other friend, the other version of Leonardo, is gone. For some unknown reason. Always like to put extra torches down for no reason. Ooh, what's going on here? The secret love affair, eh? Mr. Yellow Jacket and Mr. I don't know what you are. Oh, the secret affair! Look like they're bumming each other. Secret bum sex outside. Number one test of forget lane. We see how it is. Oh, look at him. He's a bit jealous. Yeah. Alright, we're going back. Time to put the turtle away. And I think we're going to end it here for today. I don't know how long the video is. I just feel like ending it for today. I mean, I could go on for another hour and still pull it up if I wanted. I have five rub ticks, so... What's going on here? Stupid cats. Alright, Donatello! You now have Leonardo as well! Enjoy! Yes! Woohoo! Half the Ninja Turtles! What are you doing, White Horse? Let's see how Hesky's doing. Yeah, that's it. Look away in disgust. Screw you, Hesky. <laughs> Do I want a ticket? I can't afford a ticket. What are you doing? Hiding. Okay, so I think we're done for today. We successfully made the, the cart system to the tank. And we made the tank. And we... Well... Got anything in these little carts yet? It looks like, yep. Yeah. It's gonna take a while before that goes. Still 32 coal, coal coke. Look, that can only produce 4,000 a year. This can produce like 16,000. So it's kind of awesome because you get turn one coal into coal coke and you get the oil as well. So it's pretty sweet. You could do with like even more coke ovens, but we deal with what we got. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode today. Remember, links are all down below in the description where places where you can follow me. Quite a few of you have followed me on Twitch now, and Twitter, and Facebook. So, I thank you for that. And I will see you in the next episode, whether it be tomorrow or the day after. Who knows? Depends how I feel. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.